Hey, it's Adrian over BHA. Uh, sorry for taking so long to get this next tutorial out to you guys. Um, if you saw my last one, it was uh, setting up ZoneMinder on Ubuntu 16.04. Uh, so now I'm going to show you how to set up those junky Zmoto cameras that you guys know I have uh, in ZoneMinder and be able to monitor them in Home Assistant. In order to use the Zmoto cameras in ZoneMinder, we're going to use this little script... Uh, called Zmoto Pipe. Uh, I didn't write it, but I'm going to put the link down in the description uh, the, to where I picked it up at and uh, has information on the guy that wrote it so you can kind of show him some love and uh, give him credit for, uh, for writing uh, such a cool little script. Let's get started. So of course I like to start off all my tutorials with just running updates on your machine, making sure everything's uh, up to date. Uh, so, of course, I'll uh, start off by doing that. We'll go ahead and fast forward through all that. Now that updates are done, let's go ahead and download Zmoto Pipe. And again, I'll put all this information in the description um, so you can kind of copy and paste it in there, make it a little bit easier for you. So, we're going to do a wget o, that's a capital O. And then I'm just going to give it a name, so we'll call it zmotopipe.zip. And then this is the path to that file. All right, so we can do an ls now, and you'll see that file's in there. Yep, so let's unzip it. All right, now we got it unzipped. Now we need to uh, compile it. So if you don't have GCC as your compiler installed, uh, I don't have it on this test box, so I'm going to go ahead and install it here sudo apt-get install gcc, this is the one you're going to use sudo gcc zmoto pipe dot c dash o and then just give it a name zmoto pipe at this point I'm going to go ahead and create a directory in uh, just inside my home directory for all the zmoto pipe stuff we're going to call it uh, ZMP and we'll just move everything into that folder. All right, let's go ahead and move into that new directory that we created after we moved everything in there. And I'm just going to do a uh, dash H on that Zmoto pipe file just so you can see all the different options that you have and everything for this little script. All right, now that we have Zmoto pipe compiled and everything moved into that little uh, folder that we created in our home directory, let's go ahead and set up Zmoto pipe so that it can auto start at boot. Um, so we're going to go ahead and create a, a service file and set it up as a service. So uh, sudo vi etsy systemd system, and then we'll just call this one zmoto pipe at zm.service. Obviously, that's just the username that I'm using on my account. It'll be whatever username you're using. I'll go ahead and fill out all this information in here. And again, I'll put all this in the description so you can just kind of copy and paste it. Uh, give it a description name, Zmoto Pipe. All right, so exec start equals, uh, let's see, home, ZM, ZMP, which is that new folder I created, and then Zmoto pipe, dash S will be the IP address of your Zmoto DVR, uh, dash P, of course, is the port number, we're using 9000. Now dash C is the cameras that you want to add. So for this particular pipe, I'm just going to add a couple of them. Um, you can add as many as you want on the dash C. 
dash a will be the password. Now this is the username and password for your DVR that you used to access the DVR with. Dash m is the uh, mode that we're going to use for Zmodo pipe. Um, as you can see here on the side, I've got uh, got everything listed out just to remind you what everything is. So dash m, I'm going to use five for my DVR. You may have to play around with it a little bit to try it out and see which one works better for you. Dash n is the name that we're going to give it. So it, whenever you set up these little pipes, it creates a uh, temp file, uh, one for each camera. So I just put Zmodo there so it'll uh, have Zmodo 0, 1, 2, 3 for however many cameras you got. All right, we're going to save that file. Of course, we'll do a daemon reload. So sudo systemctl daemon reload sudo systemctl enable zoneminder or I'm sorry, Zimoto pipe. Let's do a sudo system CTL start Zimoto pipe. Yeah, let's go ahead and check on that status and just make sure it's running. And you can see there that uh, I'll highlight it um, shows started Zmodo pipe and of course the service is active so everything looks good. So at this point we basically have a pipe set up for our first two cameras on our DVR. Um, now we can go over here to ZoneMinder and get those added. Alright so here we are over here on the Z, uh, ZoneMinder um, GUI, web GUI. So add new monitor. Anytime you're adding a camera in zone minder, it's called a monitor. So you'll add new monitor. We're gonna give it a name. Uh, let's see, we'll call this one front door. The source type is gonna be FFmpeg. We'll set the function to motion detect. This is the path to where those uh, cameras are going to be set up. So they're in the temp directory. So slash temp slash zmodo and whatever number camera it is. It will start with zero, not one. So make sure you choose uh, your first camera will be zmodo zero and so on and so forth. I delete the timestamp out of here just because the zmodo cameras already have the timestamp on there. It's up to you, of course. Um, change the image count to 10, so 25. Hit save. There's one camera. Give it a second to come up. And there we go, there's the front door. So we got the camera working, we'll zoom out a little bit. All right, so we got the camera added in uh, Zone Minder. Let's go ahead and get it monitored in Home Assistant. So back on our Home Assistant server, we are going to edit the configuration.yaml file. Scroll down to the bottom where we're gonna add this in. So ZoneMinder has three parts in Home Assistant. You have the ZoneMinder component itself where you will put the IP address of your ZoneMinder server. And then you can also have a ZoneMinder sensor which will monitor the uh, the events and what uh, status of the camera, what the status of the camera is. Um, so you add a sensor of platform ZoneMinder and then you also have the ability to add the cameras themselves so you would say um, you would add a camera component uh, with the platform zone minder as well. Now both the sensor and the component, uh, I'm sorry, both the sensor and the camera rely on the fact that you have to have the zone minder component installed as well. All right, let's go ahead and save this. 
and restart sudo system ctl restart home assistant give that a second to come back up All right, so let's move over to the web GUI and see what that looks like. And as you can see, everything we have set up now is we got the, the uh, sensors. So there's the number of events that are currently monitored in Zone Minder. There's the status of our camera, which is motion detected. And then here's the camera itself. All are now added into um, into Home Assistant and being able to uh, monitor them and everything from there. So now of course you can create uh, automations and stuff based on the sensors and kind of whatever you want to do with that. Alright guys that's it. Uh, if you have any questions hit me up in the comments below. If you like this video please subscribe to my channel. Check out my other videos that I got. Um, also, I've been working on some new desktop uh, uh, recording software. Hopefully, this video is a little bit more clear. I've had a few comments uh, saying they're having trouble seeing some of that stuff. So, uh, I'm a, you know, it's a work in progress. This is kind of a new deal for me, so I'm still learning how to do everything. So, please bear with me. Um, feel free to hit me up with any uh, comments or ideas or anything that you think I need to work on, and I will do my best to try to, uh, you know, accommodate everybody in these tutorials. Um, Otherwise, guys, I'll see you around. Thanks.